tell us how to take the multiple measurements again? Certainly, doctor. So there are multiple options of measurement. First, if you see, here is the length measurement. So this length measurement option is a single measurement option, straight measurement option. So how you can do it, just select that tool, start your measurement by single click, drag your mouse, and wherever you want to end it, you just end your measurement. And you will see that the measurement is available here. 12.48 mm is the length. Now this measurement is okay. Uh, this type of measurement is good when you when you are taking a measurement of the dentulous area or the canine or incisor tooth where the roots are mostly straight. But when you are taking a measurement of uh, uh, molar area where the roots are mostly in the curve, the straight length measurement may mislead to the accurate measurement. So what we can do is we can go to the expansion tools where you will see another multiple measurement options. So now we have this multi-length measurement option. We can choose the multi-length measurement option. The same way we should start the measuring from the uh, crown part of the tip. We'll go to the pulp chamber and we'll leave the click again. But as we are using the multi-length measurement, measurement will be continued and we'll keep doing until we see the curve and finally the so this way we can get the multi-length measurement of uh, all the curves where after what mm we are getting curve and finally the total length which is around 19.767 there is no limitation of how many measurements you should you can take from one image you can take multi measurements multi-length measurements on all the anatomies available so you can do the length measurement 